Hello you guys, we're going to do an HP ADF maintenance kit. This is kit number Q5997A. We're doing the installation on an HP LaserJet 4345 MFP. This procedure will be the same for any printer this kit fits. First step we're going to do is remove the pickup roller assembly. That is simply accomplished by opening the tab here. You're going to pull the gear side out and then pull the body away from the printer. You'll get your new gear. It's going to go in reverse of installation. You're going to let the pin into the slot, the little hole there, tilt it all the way back. The gear side will clip into that little plastic retainer. It'll go in. You'll close the cover. I like to tilt the door out so you can see the roller fall out to make sure it's free. Separation pads next. Push the tab. Separation pad will simply pop out. Grab your new separation pad. Put that in there. I'm doing this one-handed so it's a little difficult, but it pops right in there. I like to check on everything to make sure it's fully seated. The old separation pad you see is worn and rolled, so it was picking up multiple sheets. That was the reason this call occurred. Now we're going to clean the ADF. We use an alcohol pad. I used one alcohol pad for this. We're going to clean these white rollers. The uh, black goo you see is actually toner that has gotten stuck from copies that were made. We're simply going to wipe back and forth and roll the roller a little bit every time until we get the roller clean. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get. As you see some dirt, wipe a few times. That dirt pretty much disappears. I do all the rollers, you know, I go back and forth. Again, this process doesn't take too long, but it's important because this will keep you from having a callback for uh, image defects with uh, streaking. So we do these three rollers. There's five rollers in total you want to clean. There's these three and then there's two underneath. In a moment we'll get to those. Basically, you want to get most of the gook off of them. I try to be a little bit more thorough, but for sake of video, I'm being kind of quick. Now these inner ones, you wipe. You do got to press pretty firmly to get this stuff to lift. These don't roll that well when the um, guide is closed. So you clean what you can get to first. We'll open the guide. We'll rotate them. As you see, I'm opening the guide here. You push the little tabs with your finger. It opens. And you can rotate this with your thumb. Just roll them back. You can clean them in here as well. I'm just, for sake of video, going to close it so you can see me wiping here. It's just a basic cleaning. It's not too difficult to get this stuff off. It's just uh, mostly, like I said, toner dust, ink. There's a little bit of paper dust in there. It's things that are going to get trapped on your page and get stuck in there. Now these are the Mylar feeder sheets that um, the page comes across to remove them. You're going to open the uh, feet little guide cover here and just pop this off. There's little tabs. You just push it forward and it pops out. Okay, now we're going to take the uh, sheets out of the envelope that they come in. You get three in every kit. You'll leave the other two with the printer. I'll show you where momentarily. So you open up your bag. The bag is already open. You just got to make it free so it'll slide out. There's a little groove cut into the top. It's that little groove right there. You're going to want to make sure that is at the top of the ADF or at the highest part of the open top. They clip in. Just hook them over. Snap them. And you just go all the way down. As you see, you just hook it over. Push it over down it snaps in over down snaps in i took it out so you could see it better you can do it while it's in it's just as easy we're going to put this back in there's some pins these are just basically snapped in place you just push them in you see it clips and then there's um the little retainer plastic clips you just push those flat in and that's it make sure you get both of them you'll get jams because it won't push the page out of the adf cleanly as for the extra mylar strips you're just going to slide those underneath the uh, plat there, a little white backer for your scanner. Now we're going to reset the counter, so we're going to go to administration. We're going to go under resets. We're going to go down to reset supplies. We're going to say new document feeder kit. So you're going to say yes. Then we're going to press save. This is going to reset the counter to zero. On this unit it's 90,000 pages before reset. I like to go back afterwards and print a configuration sheet to show that I did in fact reset the counter to zero, so you will information, configuration status pages, configuration page, you're going to press print, and then check your page and make sure it says uh, zero pages since last maintenance, and you are complete. You may want to test run a couple copies, and that's all you need. Thank you guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe on this video, and I'll see you on the next one.